Notice that she has a butter knife for safety. Uh, she doesn't have to have a sharp knife. I mean, it's just an egg. And she's taking the yolk out of each one carefully. And she'll move the egg over to the uh, platter, carefully over to the platter, so she doesn't tear um, the egg whites. So and she's placing them in the platter already. And then she is going to go through these eggs some of the eggs didn't come out quite as whole as we wanted them to come out. However, it doesn't matter. We're only going to gobble them up in just a while. So, and you notice you can try to get the yolk out, but you don't have to get all of the yolk out because we're going to make this combination that goes inside of the egg. Um, and so all of the yolk might not come out. So just pop it out and move the egg over. So just slice, pop, and move the egg over carefully. So as she goes through it, as she goes through it, um, she is going to keep doing the same process of taking the yolk out, showing the inside and so your end product will look like that um so and it's fine you don't have to get it all cleaned out because we're only going to seal it up momentarily and here we have an egg that did not peel so greatly but you can still carefully take out the egg yolk and carefully place it over here and it'll be just fine on our um, platter so we have about um a little about a dozen and a half of eggs and so you know since we're cutting them in half um if we had 12 eggs 12 times 2 is 24 we'd have 24 angel eggs to prepare so we have maybe about 30 um or so angel eggs that are going to come out and it's just good for a nice appetizer um we're having a light meal tonight we're having broccoli and shrimp with um shrimp and peas sauce and so we're going to have these um appetizers before we get our meal so we should be fine throughout the night and guys angel eggs are some of the easiest things to make i mean you just need to get you know some eggs boil them and um, then do what zoe is doing and then the a little harder part is um, I, I don't know whether she's gonna tell you the secret ingredient uh, on YouTube maybe maybe she'll let you in on the secret ingredient uh, but we're going to use the ingredients that she's gonna tell us in a few minutes once she's carefully continues to take the yolk out so she's taking the yolk out we have about five more eggs notice how even though it's a butter knife, she moves her fingers before she puts down on the knife um, just to be extra careful. Okay, four more eggs to go and slide. And remove the yolk and place the egg white. Remove the yolk and place the egg white. Okay, so two more eggs after this one. So it's quite a quick process and um, we'll show you in just a few moments, we'll have uh, almost a whole platter full of the angel eggs. And guys, this platter, we got it for like 
above at Walmart, or you can go to the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store. You don't have to get the sophisticated glass, uh, porcelain, or whatever kind. It's just a plastic tray. They have all colors. Um, the Dollar Tree is amazing uh, for different colorful stuff and festive things. They have gold, silver, yellow, red. So now we're done. So always going to wash her hands right quick. She's going to rinse off the extra egg yolk that she's got there. And then we'll show you the ink. And she's going to clean her area as she goes. So she'll get her softer that she was putting on and her knife and take it over to the sink. And then she'll get her spoon um, and rinse her spoon so she can prepare the mixture for the inside for the inside of the um, egg whites. So we have our first ingredient is pepper. So she's going to show you the pepper. We have ground pepper, black pepper. We love McCormick. Yes, there are knockoff brands and different things like that. But guys, if you're going to be in the kitchen, you need to be, I'm not trying to say anything about great value, but there is a slightly different taste, I mean, whether it's a different company or whatever, but we use the name brand McCormick. That's the best. Next, we're going to use um, Morton's salt, and we're going to also use mayo, and we use nothing but the best. We use Hellman's Real Mayo. That it brings out the best. Yes, it does in these ink legs. And then we're going to use Frenchie's Classic Yellow Mustard. Only the best guys, not the knockoff kind. And last but not least, we're going to use the um, Classic Sweet Relish. Um, and it tastes awesome. And then we have one little secret. So we're going to go over and get our secret ingredient guys you don't need a lot don't tell everyone your secret but there's a little tangy taste to the um thing so we sprinkle just a little bit of sugar on it so we'll move that over and at the end after we're done mixing um we will put just a sprinkle of sugar there okay so it's always going to get the mayo first she's going to get the mayonnaise and you can see her egg yolks in the bowl. And she's going to get the mayo. And she's going to put three large scoops of mayonnaise inside. One. Two. Three. Okay. She's going to close it. Okay. And then she's going to begin to mix the mayo with the egg yolks. Now, you know, the egg yolks are, you know, they're kind of dry, you know, and so she's going to try to slowly mix the egg yolks and breaking the egg yolks up and <clears throat> mixing the mayo. Now, the reason we didn't use um, a fourth spoon of mayo is because we don't want the, our eggs to be too, have too much mayo. You can always add more, but you can't take the mayo out. So always better to go less, and then if you need more, you can test it out. So um, the next thing, she's going to sprinkle the sweet relish inside of the bowl. And why do we do that next? Because there's a little liquid in there. She's going to just kind of pour it slowly. Okay, now. And so you kind of just judge it, and if you love sweet relish, then you're going to want to put more. She's going to start mixing it now. Um, there's a little liquid that is in the sweet relish, so it makes the mixing process a little bit better. And as she's going through, she's going to make sure that she breaks up all of the egg yolks. You can see if the egg yolks are still whole or not. might have been a good idea for us to maybe crush them with a fork or or something, but you can pretty much do it with the um, with the spoon. So she's gonna break it up here, and then she's gonna make sure she gets on the side and put all of the egg yolk um, in there. So um, then we're going to put a dash, several dashes of pepper um, inside. So I put several dashes of pepper. Uh, all around so we can just shake 
Wait, wait, show me. That'll be enough. And one squirt of mustard. Guys, if you know about mustard, sometimes the water separates out on top of the mustard. So make sure to shake your mustard before you open it. And then once you open it, give it a good squirt inside. Basically, we use this for a little, con there you go, that's enough. We give it a little contrasting flavor, um, but we also give it a little bit of color, that extra um, color that we have there. So once we're done with that, we're going to put a dash, a small dash of salt. Guys, she's going to put it a little bit in the palm of her hand, and then she's just going to sprinkle it. We don't want to definitely use too much um, Morton salt. So if you get too much, like, like we have, um, you just take a little sprinkle out. Take the sprinkle out and sprinkle over one and two and maybe three little sprinkles and dump the rest in the trash. Okay, we don't, that is real salt. Yes, this is real salt. And your heart cannot salt. take too much salt. Right. And our um, last ingredient, we're going to use a little bit of sugar and for our taste test we can um we're not going to lick the spoon and put it back in the container we're just going to take a little bit out and we will sprinkle just a dash of sugar okay just a dash of sugar to take out that little tangy taste and what we wound up with is um you see going to press just a little bit more because it's still a little lumpy. We're going to press just a little bit more. And we're going to put, just take the spoon and kind of rub it on the plate. And we're going to taste it on the top of the plate. Guys, it's perfect. So what we have here is a great short recipe um, for the angel egg mixture and now you take the mixture and you carefully uh, maybe we'll get a smaller spoon and you carefully add the sauce into the center of each one of the egg whites into each one of the egg whites so guys if all of the egg all of the yolk came out if all of the yolk came out of the eggs then all of your mixture should go back into the eggs. You know, I know you have a little extra ingredients there, but just fill them up really well. So Zoe's going to show you the spoon that she's using. So she's going to show you the spoon that she's using. And that spoon she's going to use to dip to fill in the egg whites. So you just start dipping and start filling. 